we've done it. So, hey, Eric, this is my video guy, Jake. So we're gonna come. Oh, hey. Whoops. Hey, how are you doing? Nice to meet you. That's okay. Like a little, little overview. That'd be sweet. So That'd be great. We're gonna do. We'll give yeah, you a little you exposure. Yeah, you want to go over into the other room? And whatever. No, yeah, whatever. You can do. Just do, do it naturally. Or do you want to do it here? That's fine. Yeah, okay. wherever you're, where you're doing the testing. So let's, here. let me, let me. Yeah, we'll do the Trust. testing here. So let, let me. Let me do this, right? You want the glasses on? Yeah, you're there. You're there. Let's yeah. go. Right? Okay. So let, so let me let me give the here, Doctor Lott. You got to oh, come in here and this yes. also. I feel like I should take my sweatshirt off. Right. So actually, <laughs> so what we're doing is we're we're asking the question how you know how can we prepare the the children who are playing uh, youth baseball and eventually softball. Um, to throw the ball in such a way that they're at minimum risk of injury. And the, uh, the primary assumption is that a lot of the children, when they throw, they're not using their core, they're not engaging their core. And so all the acceleration and deacceleration is coming from the shoulder rather than from the entire body. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna have uh, young people in the community come in, uh, take some throws. If you look up around the side of the walls, you'll see, Sweet. actually I'll let Dr. Lott explain her biomechanics lab. Sure, so we've got six cameras set up around the room, and these aren't like your typical video cameras. Um, what they do is they send out infrared pulses, so it's just kind of a kind of light that we can't see, but that light will hit these reflective markers and go back to the camera. And these will be on your body when you're throwing the ball. So we'll put it on specific um, parts so we know where your shoulder is, your elbow, and um, various places. So the cameras can tell where all those markers are, and at the same time, we set up um, something called an EMG that measures the muscle activity, which I don't know where, oh, here's this. So we connect sensors to this thing that go to um, the core muscles so we can see when your muscles are firing. So we get both the motion of your body and how your, how your core muscles are firing with those. Yeah. Okay, so mm -hmm. if you've ever seen how they build the uh, the video games, yeah, that's what I was gonna say. It's probably just like that. Right? <laughs> what yeah, was it? They were talking about uh, anyway. One of the baseball games, video games. They they basically take the players and they put these markers all over them, and Sweet. then take images. So now what we're gonna be able to see is not your body. We won't be able to see your body. What we'll see are those reflectors that make it look like it's your kind of the skeleton. Okay, and when we, fake, we get finished, we'll be able to actually show you. Okay. I'll see your motion. try to you know help uh, prevent some injuries with these kids throwing their arms out this is a really cool that's why I wanted to have Alex participate in it plus I'm always up here training at the track some of the new stuff from train magazine which I'm trying to do here Eric is um, is from the track here at Dennis University they always show me love so I want to help help them as I can so that's why we're gonna put it on YouTube let people know So Shu Hang's actually taking appreciably energy measurements. Okay. So if we, if we measure the amount of energy that's happening, let's say in the lower leg, and then it builds or diminishes as it moves into the, the upper thigh, then of course that energy should move up into the hips and the core of the body, and then out the arm to where you're making the throw. So he's actually using the length, the circumference measurements, so that he can correlate that with the, the angular movement and find out how much that's the force. That's force just how I make my programs up. <laughs> that's just how we do the circumference of Jake's arm and then of my waist and then uh, Kyle Brett's deadlift and then we come up with a good stack plan. That's how we do it. <laughs> Trying to get some FaceTime. Mm -hmm. Who's that guy? Mm. You don't know. Mm. What does that mean? Mm. Sounds like mammal. Yeah. Is that a nervous, uh, 
in the earth. Mm. All right, so we're up at Denison University, and that's where I do a lot of my lunges at. So part of the photo shoot from Train Magazine was done at Denison, which here's their track, which is beautiful. Here's them doing some lunges. And the other part of it was done in LA. This is like up top of LA, right here, which is sick. So Corey P found this dope spot above LA, and then this is here, Denison, uh, and then over in LA again. So basically it's get stacked 12. So if you guys see this today, you can, uh, I believe you can get a copy of this for free online on trainmag.com. Pick it up in any newsstands also. And uh, if you've been wondering about the Get Stack plan, Get Stack 12 is free. Train Magazine. with an active core. How awkward did that feel to you? Did it feel normal? Yeah, it felt normal. It felt normal. Yeah? And then when you were when you were asked to throw trying to kind of keep your stomach muscles less active, how did that feel? Weird. Did it feel weird? Yeah. Weird? Okay. Kind of a little bit awkward. Okay, now let's look at deactivated. Your fastest throw was forty seven miles per hour. For the, For the activated. For was the it activated? activated? Okay. Oh. What was it for deactivated? Deactivated, you got up to 45, but most of them were around the 30 range. And I'll bet I know which one was. One of those deactivated, it looked like you activated. just went right back to activating. <laughs> yeah. Because that's, that's why I was asking, was it awkward? And you're like, yeah, it's really hard to deactivate. Once you get to the point where you are activating, you can see. Do you see a difference in your body there? A little bit. A little bit. Take a look at the at the trunk, right? The midsection of your body. There's really not a whole lot of crunch that happens as you're throwing. Yeah. Boom. See how straight up. Good meeting you. Like so nice yeah, to meet you. Thanks so much. That's awesome. Oh yeah, Thank you. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Thanks for coming. Give me five, man. <laughs> so you have this background, right? This is kind of a tone right? of the of the muscle, mm -hmm. and it'll fluctuate where it's more active and less active. Okay. But right around there's gonna be a peak. And the question is, how high, how quick does the peak go up? How does it come back? How quickly does it come back down? And what's the peak measures? Now, some of the people that we've been looking at um, will have this really diffuse event. So it, it takes a really long time for oh, there to okay, be a peak, and then, and then it'll be a long time when it comes back down. Okay. Other people have this really quick action, and that's what you have. You have get this background, and boom, it jumps up and jumps back down. Mm -hmm. So we're trying to, what we're trying to do right now is we're trying to make sense of that. Mm -hmm. There's clearly information in there, and we're trying to figure out what does that, how do we make use of that information, okay? So this is an interesting, in fact, Stephanie's one of her analysis right now is to go back through and take a look at all of the EMGs and try to classify them. So yeah, that's interesting. I wonder which is. is you would think this should be. Yeah. Our, my argument right now is that that is should that be accurate? the optimal EMG okay. appearance. Yeah. So AG got to partake in his first clinical trial today. Mm -hmm. um, seeing about an active core compared to a non-active core in pitching motion, which Alex likes to pitch. He's pretty good at it. Striking out some dudes. What'd you think, AG? Cool. Yeah, you, you basically look like a video game as you guys just saw in the video. So that was kind of cool to see, right? That's that's how they do the stuff with the major league guys when they do like MLB, whatever, and Madden and all that. Games. That's how they do it. Yeah, games. So Alex, do you think your core will be more active now? Yes. When you pitch. All right, tell me your YouTube channel. Uh, my YouTube channel is Alex Gregory. You should go subscribe to it. <laughs> Hi, right, John. Peace.